It's a daily commute to work with a difference. A team of engineers working on a flagship Scottish water project in Glasgow have one of the most interesting and unusual ways of getting to their workplace every day. Tom Rush and his colleagues are part of a team of engineers working on Scottish Water's £100 million Shield Hall Tunnel project in the southwest of Glasgow, part of the biggest upgrade in the Greater Glasgow area's wastewater infrastructure since Victorian times. The men are working on a massive state-of-the-art tunnel boring machine to build the tunnel at depths of as much as 32 metres or 105 feet as it travels at speeds of about 30 metres per day, excavating earth and stone and installing the lining of the tunnel in the form of massive concrete rings. Today, like any other day, the engineer's shift starts at 7am and will run until 7pm when they'll be replaced by another team of men working the 12-hour night shift. The workers follow this pattern every day as the machine tunnels away night and day. Once they are individually checked in above ground, they descend into a giant 20 metre deep shaft that forms the entry and exit point to the tunnel and the tunnel boring machine. At the bottom of the shaft, the engineers working on the TBM board a man rider carriage on an electrically powered locomotive which transports them, along with the concrete segments, to the tunnel boring machine. On their way to board the man rider, the workers pass a small encased wooden carving of St Barbara, the patron saint of tunnelers, mounted on the shaft wall to keep silent watch over them in accordance with tunnelling tradition. The tunnel boring machine might not be the sort of equipment everyone would want to work in, but it's undoubtedly an impressive and complex piece of kit. It's fantastic to be working on a project like this, um, I think the first of its type and size in Scotland. It's quite different from a normal office job. Getting to your place of work is different. It's a different commute than most people have. Um, I wouldn't want to work in an office job. I really enjoy tunnelling and I think it's a, a very enjoyable career. It's, it's very weird at first, but you, you quickly get used to it. You're underground for 12 hours, so you get up in the morning, you travel to work, and you see the sun or the, the daylight, and you go underground for 12 hours, you come out and it's, at the moment it's dark, so that's probably the, the hardest bit. The engineers who spend their days and nights down there are some of the most skilled engineers in the world. At any one time, there is usually a team of about eight working on the tunnel boring machine, driving or piloting it, and operating equipment used to excavate material. Another 20 support staff work behind it, installing the tunnel sections in concrete rings. Inevitably, as the tunnelling progresses and the tunnel boring machine gets further along its 3.1 mile long route, the men's journey will also get longer. Their commute at this stage takes little more than 10 to 12 minutes from entry shaft to the back of the tunnel boring machine. That will increase to more than 30 minutes. Today, after another hard day's graft carrying out work deep underground in conditions that few of us would enjoy, the workers make the same journey in reverse, taking the train from the TBM back to the entry exit shaft, passing St Barbara, climbing the stairs and checking out at ground level. Just like all commuters, the engineers are delighted to get to the end of their journey from work each day. And again, like the rest of us, they go home, eat and relax, and get ready to do it all over again tomorrow.